So, Finn Hudson Prentice, uh, back at Sussex, delighted to see you. Just tell us how that's all come around, Finn. Um, yeah, it's hap- it happened pretty quickly. Um, obviously, my contract was up with Derbyshire at the end of the season and Sussex showed a bit of interest. Um, so, yeah, I'd obviously delighted to be back and playing for Sussex again after five years. Yeah. Let's turn the clock back because how, how disappointing was it when that actually happened at that stage in your career, Finn? Yeah, it was obviously disappointing. I mean, being a kid, growing up always wanted to play for Sussex and to get that news was sort of pretty pretty devastating um, but yeah it sort of helped me grow as a person I think and a player a little bit since that time had a bit of time away a bit of time to reflect on things and come back probably a stronger and better player than I was then so yeah and you went not straight to Derby you went to the MCC and, yeah. oh, and what was that like I mean presumably that, that gives an opportunity to sort of get back into into cricket that's what they're doing <laughs> um yeah, so the YC is obviously a great program. I think it's developed many a young player. Um, they've obviously got a great setup down at Lords, um, where you train throughout the winter. You get to be around obviously great coaches um, and great players. Obviously, you get to train with the Middlesex lads as well. Um, so yeah, I joined up with them. Um, you get to play against all the county second eleven teams. So it's almost like a year long trial mm. basically. So so many opportunities through that. Um, and yeah, sort of had a good season in 2019 and got picked up from that, really. And you went to Derbyshire and, you know, enjoyed enjoyed your time at Derby. I guess during that time, I don't know whether you got whether you played at the T20 finals day, but they got to T20 finals day. And... Yeah, they did, yeah. So we had a great year, 2019, my first year with the club. Um, first finals day the club's ever got to. Um, obviously, well, we beat Sussex as well, I think, in that year as well. Yeah, and the four-day stuff, which was yeah. quite sweet at the time. Um, get a bit of own back on them, but yeah, obviously... Um, love my time at Derbyshire, had a great time, but um, I just feel for my career right now, this is probably the best place to be. Yeah, and a chance to come back. Now, you're, you're a Sussex lad, there's still family down here. Was that very much the lure of going back for you? Yeah, obviously, being close to family, like where I went to school, everything sort of in my life was based based around here, around Sussex. So, yeah, that obviously massive, massive thing for me to come back and be around everyone again, sort of family, friends and everything come back. Obviously, I had a massive part to play. Um, but also the exciting direction that this, this club's sort of going in at the moment under Souls and Kurtz. I think it's going in a great direction, especially with some of the players I've seen on display this week. It's very exciting. 17 years old and playing it like you're 25, 30. is incredible. You're 25. You're the senior player out on the pitch. What By three like? years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like I'm a veteran. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice, actually, to be honest. It's obviously it's nice looking around the field and seeing all the youth on display. It's pretty crazy, isn't it, really? Like... It, the last time I was here, I was obviously going to be one of the youngest players around and come back five years later, I'm the oldest on the pitch by three years. So it's pretty crazy. But obviously the talent on show that we've got, as I've said before, is fantastic. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing over the next few years what, what that uh, produces. Do you feel you've got a bit to prove? Do you feel you've got to prove who you were wrong? <laughs> Um, they were wrong uh, I've been asked that a few times since I sort of made the move I don't feel like I have anything to prove really coming back I sort of think the last the last couple of years I sort of proved that I'm it, to me anyway I've proved to myself that I'm good enough to play at this level um, it's just about now using Sussex to kick on and hopefully progress to higher honours and try and win trophies for the club really it's not not really a case of trying to prove anything or anything to anyone else really it's sort of just taking it each step as, it, as we can as a club and personally to try and get trophies and push higher Finally, talk about the game, sort of evenly poised. It's a horrible night, it's raining. Yeah, it's, more, yeah. it's more like October or November than August. Yeah. But, um, you know, this game seems pretty even. Maybe Sussex slightly with their noses in front. Yeah, yeah, I think we had a great session this afternoon coming out after lunch. Obviously, they got away a little bit, but we had a little cluster. Just let this bloke go past them. Yeah. There it goes. We had a little um, a little cluster in the middle of wickets, which was really good. Obviously, Joe and... Joe and Croke's had a really good session for us there and got us back in the game. And I think, to be honest, we're probably just a bit ahead. If we can take these three wickets quickly tomorrow morning and, and try and bat as long as we can through, through the rest of the day, I think we'll be in a really strong position. Sorry.